do is have a recycling bin in our home. A compact and simple bin which is for our bottles, cans, and paper waste. And another bin for our other trash that is non-recyclable. By doing this, we will sidetrack the tons of trash that are put in our local landfills every month. By showering with a chamois and letting it soak periodically with body wash and water, I cut the time of water draining by turning it off and washing my body until I'm ready to rinse and then quickly wash my hair. By doing this routine, I terminate the massive amount of water runoff that plagues our county's water reservoirs. One way I choose to be conservative with my water is by watering my lawn and plants by hand and not a sprinkler system that is set on a schedule for several times a week. I use, do it twice a week and I prevent my plants from drying. Since Southern California is a desert climate, it is more practical and environmentally effective to plant plants that are more receptive to this climate, like the California poppy, which in fact is our state plant. These vehicles, time and time again, have been, been proven to be very inefficient and problematic with our quality of air, emissions of greenhouse gases, CO2, and our wallets. They must be done with. I don't drive cars anymore because they're a major constituent of CO2 gases which heat up our atmosphere. Instead, I have an arsenal of self-powered bicycles that get me to where I need to go on a daily basis. My first bike is a road bike. This bike enables me to ride up to 50 to 100 miles in a day and is easy on my legs. This I choose to use on a long distance basis. My next bike is my fixed gear bike. This is the one that I use for my daily errands, which is going to school, going to the grocery store, and any other miscellaneous things that I have to do. My third bike is my mountain bike. This bike allows me to go on hiking trails, which totally eliminates car traffic and air pollution, and is a very enjoyable ride. It's very important to care about global warming, especially for me because other than using this for transport, I use this recreationally also on a daily basis. And you know, if global warming really starts taking take on over and the earth starts heating up and, and air pollution gets really bad, I'm not going to be able to enjoy the luxury of a nice clean road. And that honestly would be heartbreaking to me. In only places like these do we nurture and protect plants and vegetation when in fact it should be manifested in all our personal lives as well. In these urban jungles that we live in today where everything is paved and all you have always kinds of buildings and houses and stuff, it's really nice to be able to find safe haven in a place like a park where it's quiet and clean and, and it's just really hard to come across that in your everyday life. So when I'm at the park and I realize how much joy it brings to me, I try to reflect uh, having a clean environment and, and plants around me. Please, for the love of your local community and our planet as a whole, please do your part in conserving and potentially eliminating the production of greenhouse gases in your daily activities. Mother Nature is the epitome of a self-sustaining system and we should keep it and preserve it for future generations.